Hello everybody. Now this video will teach you how to format the service error of the Western Digital hard drives. This function is very helpful when the hard drive has a lot of firmware failures. And some failures may be unknown and you may never expect that or you may never see it. So for this kind of firmware failure, we have one function within the DFLWD firmware repair tool. It's called format SA. That means we will remove all the firmware modules from the platter area. So we go to the menu firmware operations and we can find one sub menu called format SA. Before format SA, we can see all the firmware modules by click on the check modules. Now let's try format SA and see what happened. Here we need to tick the head. For this hard drive, it has only two heads. Head 0 and head 1. So we need to tick the head to format. Now let's try to tick only head 0 and format SA and see if the firmware modules will be gone or not. Now we can see from the log window, the program is formatting all the tracks on the head zero. Because the firmware modules are located within the tracks. If you format the tracks, that means the whole service error will be gone. Now let's try to check after the SA format for the head zero only. We just need to wait and see. So the SA format is very fast. OK, done. We can see that SA format completes. Now, let's create the program power off and power on the drive again. We enter the program and I check the firmware modules. So we can see lots and changed. If we take only the head zero to format the SA, the firmware modules are still there. That means if you tick only one head, head 0, head 1, the program will read automatically from head 1 because both head 0 and head 1 contain the booting firmware, contain all the firmware modules. This is copy 0, this is copy 1. So the hard drive has two copies of firmware. If head zero doesn't have firmware, the program or the hard drive will read from head one. Now we need to format two heads. Format both heads and we will see what happens. So you can see that head zero, head one, head zero, head one. The program will format both heads and we will see the result will be different.
Sometimes, besides, to use the format essay for data recovery purposes, we can use it for refurbishing purposes too. However, there is one important thing we need to notice. If users want to use format essay for data recovery purposes, it's a must. Users must back up all the original firmware modules before format essay. Here, these are the original firmware modules. We need to back up them, especially especially the data recovery firmware modules. For example, the module 3, the module 11, the module 31, module 14. Sometimes we can back up the module 49, 4A, and 36, 32, 33, 36. We can back up these data recovery from modules, and that's enough. Anyway, for all users, you need to always back up these original firmware modules before format essay because after format essay we can write a set of donor firmware to the pension drive and then we can write back the original data recovery firmware modules and then the data can be recovered but if you don't have the original firmware modules you can never succeed to get the lost data back. Now we can see that the SA format completes. Now let's try to exit the program, power off, and power on the drive again. Now we can start and enter the program and auto get detail. Now you can see that the firmware modules are gone and we cannot detect the hard drive ID or capacity information or any other information because this information are just from the PCB not from the platter the platter firmware error has been formatted if we click OK and enter the main firmware repair interface we can see further now we can see that the program cannot find the module directory so the program asks the users to import the model directory or search the model directory. Now we click cancel. Now we have entered the main program and when we check modules, it's empty. That means the service error has been formatted successfully. So this is how to use the format essay function successfully. We need to format both head zero and head one. If you format only one head, the program or the hard drive will read the other copy automatically. So this is the difference and this is how to format essay. Thank you for watching this video.